and welcome back to the channel. In this video mainly I am discussing about the topic called as fibrinolysis. So we all know that how clot is formed, what are the three stages involved in it, everything is clear right. So now we will see what are the things important to break the clot. If any clot is present inside your blood vessel which is obstructing the flow of blood to all the parts of the body then it is important that that clot should be broken down. When we know how these clots are broken down, how the clots are formed, then only we can study the drugs such as coagulants and anticoagulants. So, basic things if it is clear, the mechanism of action you will know automatically by yourself. So, watch till the end. In the formation of plasmin, one thing we have to remember. This plasminogen mainly forms the plasmin, right? So, this plasminogen is nothing but an inactive glycoprotein. So, when this plasminogen in the presence of TPA, TPA is nothing but tissue plasminogen activator and lysosomal enzymes as well as thrombin, it will lead to formation of the plasmin. This plasminogen is mainly uh, present or you can say it is synthesized inside the liver here. So, this thrombin is derived from the blood, okay? And this TPA and lysosomal enzymes, whatever are required to convert plasminogen into plasmin, it has been released from the damaged tissues or you can say damaged endothelium. This TPA is nothing but tissue plasminogen activators and that can inhibited by the TPA inhibitors or it can be inhibited by uh, the factor 5 and the factor 8. Okay, besides this TPA, there is even another plasminogen activator that is UPA, that is urokinase plasminogen activators, which is derived from the blood. Now, let us look at what are the sequences of the events that are involved in the activation of the plasminogen. So the first step is that when there is intravascular clotting, okay, that condition what happens the endothelium of the blood vessel will start secreting the thrombin binding proteins which are called as thrombomodulin, okay. But the minute blood vessels like in the brain and all, they will not secrete this thrombomodulin, okay. So, whatever thrombomodulin is formed in the first step will combine with the thrombin and hence it will form a thrombomodulin thrombin complex. This complex will start activating the protein C. So, this protein C in the presence of cofactor that is protein S, it will inactivate the factor 5 and factor 8. Okay, this protein C will also inactivate the TPA inhibitors due to which what happens the TPA becomes active in the nature. So in next last step what happens is that this activated TPA along with the lysosomal enzyme in the presence of even the thrombin and urokinase plasminogen activator it will activate the plasminogen. This activation will lead to the formation of something called as plasmin. This plasmin mainly is responsible for the lysis of the clot whatever is formed.